A new one-of-a-kind initiative designed to improve Detroit neighborhoods launched today. It is called the Detroit Residents First Fund. Donors are preparing to give away millions of dollars over the next several years. And as 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham found out, area residents will have direct input on where that money ends up. I'm told 15 grassroots nonprofits and advocacy organizations benefited from this first round of Detroit's Residents First Fund. All we had to do was put down on paper what we wanted to do with the funds and uh, we, we got them. Mark Covington, founder of the Georgia Street Community Collective, says applying for the Detroit Residents First Fund was probably the easiest grant proposal he's ever written. Because it's been pretty hard getting grants. But this grant, less red tape, he says. Covington's organization is among the first 15 selected in the pilot program. $700,000 given out this first round from donors like the Skillman Foundation, Ford Foundation, Kellogg Foundation, Herb Family Foundation, along with community development advocates of Detroit. Donors and community organizations brought together by the Wayne Metro Community Action Agency. The agency says this grant is one of a kind because it thrives off of resident input. What that means is that instead of foundations telling the community, you know, here we have money for X, Y, and Z, or the community saying, these are our needs, give us money. We're all sitting at the table, sharing ideas, sharing power, and um, building resident power in the process. Over the next five years, Wayne Metro says the goal is to give away $10 million to improve the community. The backdrop of today's block party is one example of where some of the money has gone to improving a community garden and this playground, a direct benefit for residents in the area of Minook and Whitlock on the west side. As you can see, the kids are loving the park and it's absolutely awesome. I'd love for you guys to come back and visit, sit in the park, listen to the kids laugh and play. It's the most amazing, amazing sound that you could ever hear as these children laughing and playing. For more information on the fun, just head to our website for a link, wxyz.com. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Darren.